Hello. Oh, am I gonna burp or not? Okay, no, one, two, three. Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and I have such an exciting video, in my opinion, for you today. It is a classic, a video that I have wanted to do for some time and just kept forgetting, and man, does it make my makeup lover heart sing. Sometimes I can be overwhelmed with work. Girl, I work seven days a week, let me tell you, that's not a lie. And I can be overwhelmed with new products and having to get everything done. Sometimes I forget to sit back and really focus on the things that I personally enjoy and products I love using on myself and clients. So today we have a classic brand to just go ahead and spotlight. MAC Cosmetics, you guys. I have been a longtime lover of MAC Cosmetics. I was purchasing MAC Cosmetics at the mall for my high school dances and things like that. I just have such a nostalgic love for MAC and doing this haul and creating this look, which will be up soon on my channel, this entire makeup look that you are seeing, I just finished filming. So if you wanna see all of it's MAC, the entire face except for my brows. My brows, I don't change products because I just, I can't. They're very picky in their undertone. Anyway, that will be up soon, so no worries. And when it's up, I'll link it below. So, today's a MAC haul. This is everything I purchased to do a full face of MAC, plus the products you, some products you won't be seeing in the tutorial because I didn't use every single one. This is a full face of MAC, so if you're curious about what I'm wearing today, I will have everything listed in the info box below. But let's go ahead and get started into the haul itself. I am, oh, I'm so excited. Because here's the thing, like MAC not only is very nostalgic for me in so many ways and so many reasons, their products, are really great. I forgot, honestly, how high quality they are and at such a great price point for someone who purchases high-end pretty often because I have sensitive skin, so drugstore fragrance and a lot of drugstore products just don't work out for me. So I focus on higher-end products because for one, I have an autoimmune disease, so getting rashes and breakouts from drugstore products is just not on my list of things to do. So all of these products I'm gonna mention today are ones that I love and have been using since I hauled them. I'm gonna show Shut up now, I'm just excited. This is just a classic, okay? So just let me be a little chatty. So first I'm gonna talk about, we're gonna go from base to lips, okay. The very first thing is something, it's one of my first MAC purchases and I'm so glad they still have this product around. It is a concealer. It is MAC Studio Concealer. I purchased the shade NC10 because I'm usually an NC15 to NC20 and this is the perfect shade to conceal underneath my eyes. It has an SPF 30 and it's the concealer I have on today. I have been using this the past month or so since, it's, well, past two months? Since before Christmas is when I hauled all of this. That's how like planned out my videos are because girl, we are going full steam, okay? So I forgot how skin-like and moisturizing this is underneath the eyes. I have waited to talk about it for this video because I usually use my Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Liquid Concealer, which I also love, but if you are looking for higher coverage and you're worried about the shimmer in the Charlotte Tilbury Concealer and you don't mix it up before you apply it, this is a great alternative. It does come in a compact which can be a little off-putting, if you know what I mean, but also it's a classic makeup product. And if you would like to see how I use that, be on the, be on the eye, be on the lookout for my full face of MAC Cosmetics, but it comes in a pot, I use a concealer brush, and then I blend it out with a beauty sponge, and it has such beautiful coverage, a little goes a long way, and this is a classic product that I'm so glad that MAC still has around, and I hope that it stays around because now that I have refreshed my memory on how much I used to use this and repurchase this for myself and on clients, Girl, it's gonna be hard for me to go back to a liquid concealer. This is so good for dry under eyes and it's okay on oilier skin, but it can break up if you're really oily under the eyes. Here, I'm dry as the Sahara Desert, so it's best for normal to dry skin. 
Next is another classic. Don't we all remember loving? She's in new packaging since I purchased one. It's Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. I purchased the shade Light and one other shade, which I'll talk about here in a second. But she is beautiful. She blurs pores. She makes your skin look healthy. I actually set my entire foundation and concealer with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light today. So that's the finish. It really really gives you a lot of life to the face. This is like Laura Mercier's Candle Glow Powder, except if you bumped up the luminosity and it blurs while giving you luminosity. I forgot how much I loved Max Mineralized Skin Finishes and I'm so glad I got a refresher. It's beautiful under the eyes, it blurs fine lines, it also blurs pores. Girl, if you have a texture on your face, a line, a pore, a dry patch. This does not cling to it, it doesn't settle into it. I forgot how much I love these. So the other shade I got is Deep Dark. Okay, so don't forget, you can use setting powders as bronzers, color correctors, blushes sometimes if something has a pink enough undertone and it's deeper and you are fairer. The only difference is this is a little less pigmented than an actual bronzer. So if bronzers intimidate you, one of the best things you could do is purchase something like MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark and use a stippling brush and build up the pigmentation. And because it's a setting powder, it is gonna give you the benefits of blurring and it blending well and all of the good stuff that comes with it. It's the only bronzer I have on today, bronzer. So don't forget, there really are no rules to makeup and where you put things unless something's a pigment and it's not meant for the eyes or it's not safe for the mouth, things like that. But as far as setting powders, use them in different ways and get such a beautiful seamless look. Anyway, you'll see how I use this as a bronzer in that makeup tutorial. Next is the blush that I have on today. And this blush was on my wish list for a very long time, for the past couple years, I would say. I think I had this on my wish list. Yeah, no, it was 2019. And I remember that because some traumas were going on, if you know what I mean, and you've been around for a while, you know what I mean, that timeline, woo! This is Max So Natural Glow Play Blush. So I struggled with this blush when it first came to my home. At first I was applying it with a beauty sponge and then my fingers, and I was like, I just, I don't like this, why do people love this? And then I tried using it with my stippling brush, so that, is how we apply her. And it freaked me out because I was like, this is a cream, this is a cream product. So like, how is this going on so well with the stippling brush? I don't know, it does. They formulated this to be very marshmallowy, bouncy and creamy and very hydrated looking. I love this blush now that I have figured out how to use it. I would like to get something a little deeper, maybe a pinkier one, but So Natural is the perfect shade to just build up and you know, it's a good everyday shade. It doesn't even show up on my fingers. Just forget it. It's what I have on my cheeks. You can tell that there is a blush there. Let me try to swatch this on my wrist. Yeah, you can't even see it showing up on my wrist. It's right here. The last complexion product that I purchased was another. I have Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Superb. Well, I purchased a different shade for obvious reasons because I wanted it. I need more coffee or more water. I really can't decide which it is. So this is in the shade Double Gleam. It is the only highlight I have on today. Ooh, and let me tell you something. When I, cause Superb or Whisper of Guilt that I have? I think it's Whisper of Guilt. Anyway, it's a little beigey and it can look a little dark on me. So getting a lighter shade for when I'm fairer and trying it out really reminded me Holy crap, Max Extra Dimension Skin Finish highlighters have been doing this type of glow, like a cream glow, for years. And now we have like the M Cosmetics highlighters, we have the Charlotte Tilbury highlighters, there's the Natasha Denona ones, there's all kinds. They've been doing this for a very long time. It looks like skin, it doesn't enhance texture. She's gorgeous. And again, this is the shade Double Gleam. Did I even say that? I don't know, I'm just very excited. Look at it. I have it on my cheeks forehead, chin, and just blended it out. So good. Moving on to the eyes. This is what I have on as my base for this entire eye look. It is a MAC paint pot. Let's take a pause, let's take a moment to just really appreciate MAC's paint pots 
and especially painterly. It brings me back to like the innocent makeup days, let me tell you. I purchased the shade Contemplative State. It is the most beautiful, like warm, camel, mustardy brown ever. It actually kind of really looks gross on your finger, but on your eye, <gasps> it's beautiful. And Max Paint Pots are still some of the best eye bases to use to amplify any eye look that you wanna do. And it makes the rest of the work that you have to do with your eyes so much quicker and so much easier. And they don't crease. So very happy with this purchase. And now I'm like, I'm gonna have to have more of these. I purchased two eyeliners and I'm wearing them right now on my eyeballs. The first one is Costa Riche. This used to be my very favorite warm brown eyeliner. It's Max Eye Coal in Costa Riche. The Pixie Woos are the ones who sold it to me, man, when they, I think it was Sam that used it in a tutorial and she, and her eyes are so blue. And I was like, wow, I need that. And it really does, it makes your, if you have green or blue eyes, it really brings out the color in your eyes. And so I have that on my waterline. Oh, somehow a piece of glitter got stuck to me. Anyway, this is Costa Riche. It's what I have on my waterline and it makes my eyeballs so green. And Max Eye Coals, they're not like the most waterproof or the most like intense, you know, quickly setting eyeliners. You have work time, they're creamy, but they stay where they're put and they look beautiful blended out with eyeshadows. So the other eyeliner that I have is Max Teddy, and that's what I have on the outer portion of the eye, smoked out and winged out and blended out with other eyeshadows. So this is Teddy right next to Costa Riche. Teddy is a cooler, deeper brown, and it's beautiful on the lids and smoked out. All right, you guys, now we're into the fun part, eyeshadows. I repurchased some of my favorite MAC eyeshadows, put them in an old MAC palette that I had. They still sell these palettes. So I'm gonna go from lightest to darkest in what I purchased, and I tried to keep it to four to just make a little quad, and then I was like, oh, I couldn't say no to some of these gals. So some of these names, if you have been a part of the beauty community when it was innocent and just full of makeup fun, you'll recognize these names. And they might give you a little warm, fuzzy feeling because they do for me. The first shade that I instantly went for is Brulee. This is a beautiful kind of light bone shade. It is perfect for setting whatever base you have on your eyes, concealer, Max Painterly, or whatever you choose to use. It's such a good shade to set that before you apply other eyeshadows, and it cancels out blue and darkness, so it even looks great once you apply it and then just apply mascara, but it is a matte shade. Ooh, isn't this so fun to talk about? It is for me. The next shade, <laughs> this is beautiful, blended out in the crease or built up in the crease. This is Max Soft Brown. Does that not bring back the mims? Oh, it brings back the mims. That scared the out of me. Okay, I forget what I was saying about Soft Brown because Steven came in here and interrupted me, but it is such a good crease shade. And I'll swatch all of these on my hand together. It's such a good crease shade. It's such a good blend out shade. And it is very, very just, a, just a classic. That's nice. It's like a pinky undertoned tan brown. It's so pretty. Next is one of the first MAC eyeshadows I ever purchased. And it was for a blend out shade. It's Max Wedge, which is a neutral undertoned matte brown tan. And it is such a pretty color to blend out your eyeshadows, no matter what look you're wearing, it really kind of disappears with, not disappears, but it, it melds with whatever eye look you have on. So it's not like you're applying too much pigmentation to like alter and change your entire eye look. Just blends everything so beautifully. I will take my MAC 224, I'll even do it now, I didn't even use this eyeshadow today. And you can just apply and blend out your entire look with this. And I'll show you the difference because I had blended this look out with soft brown. It just turns everything into more of a neutral kind of look. And if you have hooded lids, taking wedge up above your crease can really change the game for your entire look. It brings and lifts everything up. So here's the difference. This is the eye with wedge, this is without. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make these even. The sun decided to 
come out while I had a little bit of a lunch break. And uh, wow, the lighting is just so much better than it was. The next eyeshadow looks wonderful with Wedge as an eye look together. It is Charcoal Brown. This is like a deeper version of Wedge. It's beautiful on the outer corners of the eye. It's very kind of neutral, completely neutral, slash a little bit cool. So if you like matte neutral shades and matte neutral eye looks, I would say Brulee, Wedge, and Charcoal Brown, you could create the most perfect neutral matte eye. Another nostalgic shade for me is a shade that I reach for with almost every eye look, <laughs> like in my late teens, early 20s. It is Max Swiss Chocolate. I even still have my old one. I just have a whole palette full of MAC shadows that I just am like, so I can't throw them away because of nostalgia. Here's Swiss Chocolate. It's a beautiful, deep, warm, brown matte shade. And Max mattes are so smooth and blend so beautifully. I forget how wonderful they are. And a lot of brands, it is hard to make a very blendable matte eyeshadow. And it seems like a lot of brands have a hard time doing that. Max mattes have always been beautiful in my opinion. And this next shade is what I have on my lid that's glowy and glistening in your eyeballs. It is Max Antiqued. It's almost like Swiss chocolate with a little bit of a gold pearl added in there. And it's the perfect shade to create like a really warm, bronzy, smoky eye. And the finish on this, because they all have different finishes, I believe. I don't know. Anyway, if you go to Mac's website, I'll have everything linked below. It'll tell you exactly what formulation these eyeshadows are. Last but not least, I got Max Starry Night. Now this one is a duochrome, I remember that. And it is like a red with blue duochrome shimmers. It's so cool. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I haven't used this one yet since purchasing it, but I can't wait to use Starry Night all over the lid because if I remember correctly, I remember loving Okay, so my card got full as I was talking. Anyway, Starry Night. Beautiful. Now let's talk lips. I will tell you what I have on my lips that actually lasted pretty well through my little lunch break. I have on Max Spice with Smoked Almond. And Spice is actually a shade that I've never owned. It's a really beautiful kind of deep pink brown shade and it's perfect with Smoked Almond. And Smoked Almond is an amplified cream shade. So this is a duo I have on now. Look how pretty they are together as like swatched. So good. So that's why that lip combo is what we have now. And then I purchased a lip glass because ugh, I just had to, iconic MAC product. And this is in the shade Spite. I had this years and years ago and I remember loving like how cool toned it was. I was really into like cool tone, grazy type of lips. So this is what this looks like right over that lip combo and you get that classic mac vanilla scent and honestly i really love max lip gloss formula because it's sticky but i like sticky glosses because they last longer if i want a lip oil on i'll wear a lip oil type formula but if i'm wearing a lip gloss i prefer a stickier formula it's not fortunate when hair gets involved on your lip gloss but for pigmentation lasting purposes a sticky formula is perfect here is spite on its own and i'm about to show you the okay <laughs> get it right Anyway, it's a really pretty kind of grayed out medium brown shade. All right, the next lip product I purchased and I wiped off my previous lip combo to show you this. This is the Lip Pencil in Oak. I had this years ago as well. And actually it's one of the lip pencils that I lost and I just forgot that I lost it, never repurchased it. But Oak is a really nice neutral tan shade. And I like wearing Oak with Spite right over it. So Spite and Oak look so good together because Oak really brings in the warmer side of the neutral in Spite and it's just a really nice kind of glossy 90s look to the lips. So swatch them on my hands for you. And I forgot to swatch the eyeshadows on my hands so I will do that here in a second. So here is Oak and then here is Spice together. So you can see Oak is much more neutral than Spice, it's much warmer. Anyway, I like wearing those two together. One more thing but I hate it. I hate it and I can't return it because I kept it too long. 
because scheduling to film this video was scheduled out too far. It, it doesn't matter. I don't like it. It's Max New Magic Extension Mascara. I started using it today just for the one brand type purpose and I ended up applying my Hourglass Unlocked Mascara over it quickly because it was just not, not good. It's just very dry and like the fibers, you can see it's a fiber extension type mascara. It's just a very dry mascara and it smells, it's got like a lot of like rosy fragrance to it. It has a locking mechanism and I saw good reviews about it so I was excited to try it but it is just a big fail for me. So that's my MAC haul. It was really fun hauling all of these goodies and reminding myself that MAC is such a great cosmetics brand to purchase from and their products are absolutely incredible and high quality. Now some of course are like hit or miss but as far as like someone who's used MAC for oh my god almost 20 years that sounds weird. Anyway and having some of these products be the same for like all those years. Max, Max doing good things. So I will have everything I mentioned today in the info box below. Let me know if you've purchased anything from Mac recently. Cause you know, now they're in Ulta. They've been in Ulta for a while. Of course they're in Nordstrom. Then you have your Mac stores and all of that good stuff. So let me know if you purchased anything recently, what you're loving or what your staples are from the brand. Because there are some products that I've kept in my routine all these years. It's just, they're kind of old faithful, so I just forget to mention them. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hi, me again. <laughs> I have to hop back on here because I forgot to show you the swatches of all the eyeshadows I picked out all together. So here is brulee. So this is brulee. Then next we have soft brown. And I love creating looks with all of these eyeshadows. I've actually been using these eyeshadows a lot more than my other eyeshadow palettes recently. Here is soft brown. Then let's do wedge. So here is wedge right next to soft brown. You can see the difference there. Then we have charcoal brown, which is, like I said, a deeper version of wedge. So they look really good together. Here is charcoal brown and here is wedge. See, you can see like this would have been a really good quad. Now we have Swiss chocolate up here because I'm, I like pointing these two out because they sound and look similar in the pan, but they're very different on uh, here, soft brown and Swiss chocolate. Then we have antiqued which is the shimmery brown bronzy shade. Like, look at these six together. Isn't that such a pretty palette? That's another thing I love about MAC. It makes it, they make it so easy to create your own palettes for different reasons. And last but not least, we have Starry Night. Oh, just swatching her is incredible. Look at that red with that green and blue like shift. This, is a palette to me. You have your neutrals that you can wear every day with a pop of something fun you can add in if you feel like it. So those are all the eyeshadows that I purchased and I think that they're beautiful together and I'm very happy with it. All right.